Hope you're all having a good Friday. It's Friday, baby. Time to celebrate. Time to fucking chill out and relax. The work week is over. Oh, shit. Wrong button. God damn it. Motherfucker. Okay. All right. Press the wrong button. Sorry, everybody. Sorry. I'm not going to edit that. Just leave it as it is. Okay. Today we have low er low, low orbit. This is from New Orthodox Brewing. I thought it was M43 Brewing. They might be a subsidiary because this looks exactly like the um, M43 can art. Old Nation Brewing Company. Very interesting, but this is something I haven't tried before. It's a low, not low carb, but it's a session. New England India Pale Ale. It has cryo hops, cryo laurel hops, cryo cascade hops. Uh, the boil hops, those are the dry hops, cryo laurel and cryo cascade. The boil hops are Centennial, Columbus, and Cascade. Let's do a little research into this. Here, I found this online. Hopefully, you guys can read it. Hopefully, my screen isn't too small. But uh, now, cryo hops, what are they? Derived from the Greek word cryos, meaning frost, cryo hops is an industry leading cryogenic hop processing technology used to separate whole cones into two components, concentrated lupulin and bract. Each component of the hop is preserved using low temperatures in a nitrogen-rich environment using during the entire process from separation to pelleting. Cryo hops pellets are in the concentration. This is pellets. I guess there's different ways you can buy hops. I don't know. I, mean, I just found this website. I thought it was kind of interesting. But here's the different kind of hop brands. Um, I've had Idaho 7 and Citra hops and Centennial hops used in uh, Founder Centennial IPA. But these two were Laurel and Cascade. I've had Cascade hops. There they are right there. Uh, floral, grapefruit, grassy. That kind of uh, kind of describes the different, the kind of hops it is. Um, originating in the USDA ARA breeding program, Cascaded Aroma type cultivar bred in 1956 and released in 1972. It was developed by open pollination of a fuggle seedling. Fuggle, that's a funny word. Okay, but the profile is floral, grapefruit, grassy, herbal, pine. So yeah, a lot of piney, grapefruit, floral, citrusy flavors. And the other one was, uh, this is Cascade. The other one was laurel. And let's go to this. And it has a citrus, floral, herbal, lemon, tropical uh, flavor. That's a pretty cool website, yakimachief.com. Very fascinating. Now, Centennial Hops. Um, Centennial has become one of the most well-respected hop varieties. La, 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 la. It quickly developed the nickname Super Cascade for its vibrant citrus and soft pine characteristics. Centennial is the featured hop in legendary IPAs such as Russian Rivers, Pliny the Elder, Founder Centennial IPA, and Bell Stewarted Ale. I've tried two of those. I have not heard of Russian Rivers, Pliny the Elder. That sounds interesting. That sounds very interesting. As far as Columbus hops go, goes, um, the exact lineage of proprietary hop Columbus is unknown. Its namesake was created in part as a result of a legal dispute between Hop, hop Union and Yakima Chief when both parties attempted to patent the same hop. Yakima Chief's variety was named Tomahawk. After an agreement was reached, both names registered. They are technically the same hop, however. Uh, features a punchy hoppiness and a deep pensive aroma. Understated citrus notes, uh, cascade hops, yeah, uh, well, it's a pleasant and balanced bitter, but it's ideally used in late hop additions to maximize the bright flavor and aroma. The bright citrus is pat backed by some soft floral and spice. Okay, that's enough. I talked about this for four and a half minutes already. We get it. Uh, aroma, spice, uh, pine, citrus, grapefruit, all of it's in there. Now, this is a pretty low ABV. It's only 4.5%. Let's crack her open. Oh, okay, into a hopefully clean glass. Let's do our pour, which we are already doing. And it's mostly head, because I don't know how to pour beer, despite doing this for nine months. But we're not going to let that deter us. We're not going to let that stand in our way. We're just going to drink the goddamn thing and see what it tastes like. Okay, here's our first sip. Oh, 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 oh. That really hits you with the grapefruit. 
Yeah. I can taste some pininess. There's a lot of citrus in there. All these hops, they're basically the same thing. <laughs> Fancy shit. All this craft brewery. It's all bullshit. That's a bitter citrus taste. That's strong. That's really strong. Let's pour a little bit more. Oh, tell you what. On top of our first smoke. More ways to give, give myself mouth cancer, you know. There could never be... There's so many different ways to give yourself cancer nowadays. You know, it's just... It's really incredible. Let's have another sip. Fuck it. Mm. I get a... Like, it's like a piney grapefruit bitter. It's kind of sour. It's a strong IPA. I mean, it's a strong flavor. The IPA itself is only 4.5%. It's pretty... Pretty light... I wouldn't say it's light-bodied. This is pretty... It, it tastes pretty heavy. But it's not, you know, super alcoholic. You know what I'm saying? Mmm. Mmm. If you like that bitter grapefruit IPA taste, you could do a lot worse than this. Uh, you know what? Uh, what do I want to give this? Let me let me have another sip and give it a final decision. It's like a more pronounced. It tastes. You can taste the centennial hops. I'm getting like big centennial hop hits from this one. If you like that centennial hop flavor, um, I definitely recommend checking this out. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead. It's a, it's light body, nice and. I can't call it light-bodied, really, but it's it's pretty pronounced. It has a very pronounced flavor, but it's only 4.5%. You know, it's pretty pretty light as far as IPA goes, if that makes any sense. Um, but I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to give it eh, 4 out of 5. Fuck it. Um, I recommend it, you know. If you're looking for something that's not going to really put you on your ass, if you want the strong IPA flavor, but you don't want to be like, fucked up, like so fucked up you can't drive. Uh, I recommend this low orbit. Um, you could do a lot worse. Well, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you all for watching. <clears throat> um, if you have any beers you'd like me to try, any beers or drinks, whatever, I'm doing whatever now. Anything you'd like me to try, leave it in the comment section down below. Also, leave a comment, leave a like. Hit subscribe, spam that subscribe button. I'm trying to make more impact in the algorithm so people actually watch these videos. But I appreciate all the guys leaving comments, liking the videos, letting me know they care about me destroying my liver for their entertainment. So uh, I'm going to leave it there. Let me go ahead and play my music here. And... Uh, that's it for me. I will talk to you guys later. Oop.